morning everyone. It's 5.55 in the morning here in Greater Victoria and I am on my way out the door to work but I have half a cup of leftover paint sitting there and it's garbage day and I want it out so let's try to do this super quick. I've randomly chosen my colors already and we're going to start with metallic purple. These are artist block paints. Michaels in Canada has them on right now. If you buy two, you get one for free. So I took advantage of that. One can never have enough paint. Ha ha. A little bit of metallic cobalt blue, I think it is, or turquoise blue. It's super pretty. I'm going to randomly place our colors. No particular reason. Just because. This stuff I really like. This is Dragonfly Glaze by Folk Art. It doesn't do anything as far as a color on the piece, but when it dries, you'll get these little colored sparkles of glittery stuff, but it's not really chunky. And let's just fire some orange in there just for something fun. All right, and some black cell activator. If you're not familiar with YouTube, everybody, on the lower right-hand corner of the video, there'll be a small triangle. If you click on the triangle, it's a drop-off, drop-down box, and I'll list my recipes in the descriptions below. Okay, let's blow this out. We're just going to be patient for a minute, let the center pop back up, and then we're going to deconstruct the bloom. Take it all apart, make it into something unique, hopefully. It's going to be hot today. We're having the summer that we were waiting for in August. We're going to have now in September. See, because I'm in a rush, this is going to take forever. Well, I don't have forever today. Hmm. So let's just start on this pretty orange bit. So you're just going to take your skewer, your coffee stick. I'm using a bamboo kebab stick from the dollar store. And we're just going to go through it. Fat in makes fatter lines, smaller makes smaller. And we're just going to weave our way through this. I'm going to try to intersect contrasting colors just so that we have contrasting shapes and not just one but sometimes it's not avoidable so sometimes we have to have just one and that's it we're going to just go in we're going to cut this apart create some different things when you use the small one you're going to push and pull your paint and just shape it we're going to do some now and we'll do a bunch more once we stretch it but if i'm talking fast i apologize like i said i'm on my way to work and I just thought, oh, why not paint for a minute? Okay, let's stretch this out. This is a little four by four tile. I picked mine up at the Habitat for Humanity store. I went there yesterday. These are 20 cents a tile. So, you know, for a substrate to paint on, you really can't beat it. I bought some six by six tiles, they're 40 cents. And then when I finished, I resin them. I mount them on a wooden cradle panel, which I buy from Michaels. And they're, I believe they're three for $10 if you buy the 12 by 12. Adhere it with some contractor cement and you have a 12 by 12 pitcher that costs you $2.90 plus your cost of resin. So, you know, it's a pretty inexpensive art project. If you're fortunate enough and you can sell a few pieces, I sell them for anywhere from 25 to $35. Not a lot, affordable for most people. Um, you know what, piece for my paint keeps me busy. I'm happy with that. I have a friend that has a little coffee shop. So, you know, we, we take them in there, we put them on a, on a cork board all together. So they're super eye-catching. Just held up with push pins and a price on them. And, you know, as they get purchased, I put more up. So it's a it's a win win for everybody. Somebody gets an original one of a kind piece of art for their wall, and it costs them, you know, twenty five thirty dollars. Christmas is coming, you guys. 
unless it's canceled due to COVID this year. Who knows? Okay. So we're almost done stretching this piece. If you notice, we're stretching it. We're knocking it right over each corner and each side so that we stretch this out. I'm happy with that. So let's go back in now and add some fine details. And this is really up to you where you want to put them. Again, you're going to try to drag contrasting colors like light over dark, dark over light, and just go in. So when you paint, if you screw it up, well, you know what? You can wash your tile off, start again. A little bit less here. I see it's 6.04 and I haven't made my lunch yet. So let's just do this and then I will get back to work. It's a pretty bad excuse to paint at six o'clock in the morning. I have to take my cup to the garbage. Okay guys, we could make this even more detailed, but I am on a time constraint this morning. And if I don't make my lunch for work, I'm gonna be grumpy at lunchtime. So I'm gonna end this right here. I'm gonna bring you in for a super quick look. I'm gonna wish y'all a good day. Have fun, stay safe, and create beautiful things. Oh, I'm gonna wipe my edges off, because as you know, I'm covering my edges with copper foiling coat of resin, cork on the back, and Bob's your uncle. Thanks guys, bring me down for a quick look. There we go, very pretty, thanks for joining.